For this adventure, we once again headed on down to La Jolla Shores to Scripps Pier, where conditions were 1 to 2 against a high tide with extremely clear water. With the small gentle waves, I had a fairly easy time towing the little bug out into the lineup. The little bug was having fun catching these waves, but having a little trouble figuring things out. She kept leaning her way down the line, which is a little difficult to do when you're a beginner surfer. Puts yourself in position to get smacked by the lid. We were joined by the goth mother who was having fun up on the beach. Little bug here acting like a little bug. And Sam joined us to get some sun on his pale white drone. And as usual, Tiffany was enjoying life out in the lineup. Trying to up her skills, she was taking off at the peak of the waves. And the little bug was figuring out the art of adjusting your weight towards the back of the board. Meanwhile on the outside with an empty lineup, me and Barry were taking time to act a fool. Having learned how to shoot the pier in a previous session in bigger waves, we are eager to get out and try it in smaller conditions. Some of these waves were so mellow that I decided to try to see how long I could surf on one foot. While the risk factor on these mellow waves drops a whole bunch, so does your ability to just kind of shoot through the pylons. Makes getting all the way through a little bit rough. With the low risk factor, you find yourself worrying about your proximity to the pylons a little bit less. Normally, you wouldn't want to almost get in a slap fight with a pier. Luckily, the pier took no offense and maintained positive vibes for the rest of the session.
At some point in the session, the little bug asked me to take her out swimming in the eerie clear waters of La Jolla. High tide is feeding time in the animal kingdom, and the wildlife in this preserve attracts many predators. This leopard shark had the little bug clinging to me for dear life. Lucky for us, leopard sharks don't prey on anything even remotely close to a human size, so we had nothing to worry about. The shark just wanted to get away from us. Right around this time, a friendly harbor seal swam by to change up the vibes. It's incredible the type of wildlife you can see in the ocean at times, and most of it wants nothing to do with us pesky humans. So just calmly relax and observe these beautiful creatures from a respectful distance, and enjoy the sea life that can be found at any beach, on any coastline, in any of these great big oceans that provide us with rad surf. There was plenty of rad surf left to be had in the session as the day went on. Barry here with a nice mellow wave that never wanted to break. Nudie paddled into the lineup with an extremely stylish pineapple bucket hat. Decided to spend most of his time boogieing. Surfing without a leash can cause you to wipe out like this. Trying to save your board with your heels. Half of the fun of surfing this spot is the clarity of the water. It's hard to believe you're still in California. Some of these waves, it really does feel like you're riding on a one foot mound of jello. Having a blast on a longboard, it's important to take the time to do something silly. Barry does something silly every wave with his drunken master style. Tiffany takes every wave with the style of a strong woman battling the sea. Usually an extremely popular break, we were lucky to have this spot all to ourselves. Which meant plenty of waves to go around for everybody, and plenty of editing, and tons of narrating for me to do at home. The water is so clear you can watch the sandbar that's making this wave break 
disappear in front of Tiffany. Catching waves in this preserve, you see many large schools of fish. Every day, Tiffany's learning something new about surfing. Always make sure to socially distance in the lineup. Catching these small clear water waves is one of my favorite things to do in life. I get excited at every fish that I pass by. Every surf trip is an adventure.